ですけど
push existing um, for us, you know, like uh, in the form of the videos of Joe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, you got various references to pop culture we mentioned. Um, there seems to be several images that depict Kate Moss. That's right. And I have a quick question actually before I ask the, 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 the main question. Feeling the pain, the pain, is that an, a young Angelina Jolie or they look, someone that looks like her? It's someone who, it, most of the images are there as a reminder of something which may possibly be familiar. Right. So, uh, other than, you know, obviously, you know, the Kate Moss imagery, which, you know, she is the icon which represents everything which has happened, you know, like, afterwards, perhaps. You know, she's the mo most famous icon, so I'm, I'm using that as a point of reference. Mm -hmm. Everything else is only suggesting that you may possibly know that. That individual. Ah, well, that was my question actually, so you probably answered it. The appropriations that you have mm -hmm. of various well known models, mm -hmm. does it any way take away from the work if somebody comes here and they even the who Kate Moss is, they don't recognise it? Not them? at all, absolutely not at all. I mean, I think generally looking at the work, it's quite easy to know that you know, all of these people may represent um, well known images, mm -hmm. whether it's within our minds or whether it's real, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Um, is there any mythology, methodology um, to determine what images of the comic book art go with what image of the Every, Everything's connected. You mm -hmm. know, with each piece, it's like a, an absolute portrait of that, that individual. And you know, I'm looking at the individual and I'm applying the layers which reflect and respond directly to that individual. That's very important. It's also very important based upon how they may possibly be standing, sitting, posing. And if you look around, there's a lot of regurgitated um, posings, you mm. know, which leads me to suggest that everything is so contrived and so organised within today's world. Mm -hmm. And there's no almost room for um, experimenting or, or, or being an individual as such. So the choice of comic book art and model is purely based on uh, imagery and shapes rather than uh, the, 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 uh, the character of Superman or whoever being relevant to the it's, there is a relevance. It's based, uh, there is a relevance based upon the image, the, the front image, the mm -hmm. main image, the main figure, the main female figure. You know, for instance, in like the Kate Moss with Popeye, etc., you know, she's wearing attire which suggests, you know, you know, as a fleeting as a sailor image, basically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I'm using Popeye as a much stronger, more, um, it, obviously, in the history of Popeye and the history of, like, his influence um, is, I, I would suggest, far greater than the history of um, someone posing, walking up and down a catwalk, you know, wearing a Popeye or a, a sailor outfit. Yes, yes. You know, it's, it's a contradiction. Mm -hmm. in many ways. However, there is an absolute association. Excellent. Well, there's the work from it's downstairs, actually, I think there's a couple where you, uh, you, you continue to paint outside the cans onto the frames. Right. Um, I'm just wondering how Hodgkin springs to mind. Is there any kind of inference or references in doing that? There's no reference to any artists having done that before. It's, it applies to my work because it's, it seems like a natural progression or you know, like using everything to incorporate that entire that French painting, a mm -hmm. piece of whatever it is. You know, I, I extend because everything's based upon layers and, and taking things behind and forward and to the side through the painting process. It's an actual extension to actually carry that onto the frame, whether it's over a non eight frame which dips and, and bows and curves, etc. Mm -hmm. It also helps to make it just suggest something else. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, one last question. Uh, when I was uh, sort of checking up uh, sort of biographical details, because I found that might be in interesting in being invested in the work, mm -hmm. I stumbled across the idea that um, you've become the co-owner of Art and Escape. That's right. Now, does that, you've got a new hat on now, haven't you, <laughs> being a uh, gallery owner, curator, or what have you, um, does that in any way affect uh, the work, maybe being concerned more about um, the sellability of the work, or does it affect it at all? I, I think. Being part of a larger group in in the sense that I'm helping to promote a lot of artists, that's very different. We're not looking to specifically sell those artists. We're mm -hmm. helping to build a career, and the artists that we've chosen to work with are artists that we feel quite strongly about. You know, the, the, we're not looking for a sort of highly commercial artists. It's not about that at all. Um, and in fact, you know, like any 
and finance that has gone into those artists have, has come purely from the sale of my work. You mm -hmm. know, it's not we don't you know we don't look to earn some money out of our artists at this point. You know, um, and it's you know it's a passion that you know I have. You know, yeah. I want to I want to work with other artists and be inspired by by what they're doing as much as I'm finding inspiration elsewhere. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, on behalf of the Intenders Movement, congratulations on some fabulous work, fabulous exhibition, thank and thank you for the interview. Thank, thank you very much. much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much, Stuart.